Well, today, President Biden will continue the push to save his campaign. He's expected to give his first news conference of the year at the NATO summit in Washington, D.C. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Robles is live right now in studio. Mark. Yeah, Leslie John, President Biden and his campaign insist that he is at the top of his game and will stay in the race. A large number of Democrats question that as they encourage him to step aside. And those who are on the fence seem to agree that today's news conference is going to be a crucial moment. That news conference will be on the world stage as Biden and closes the NATO summit in Washington, D.C. This high pressure news conference will be the first for him this year. It follows his poor debate performance against Donald Trump just two weeks ago. It has reignited questions about Biden's age and his fitness to carry out another four years in office. Just this morning, a new ABC News Washington Post Ipsos poll shows two thirds of Americans, including Biden supporters, think that he should step aside. Still, reaction is mixed among Democratic members of Congress. More than 80 are backing Biden as the, the nominee. Former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi made a recent comments supporting whatever Biden decides. ABC's Rachel Scott pressed Pelosi to clarify. Do you believe that him waiting so long to make this I'm decision? I'm not going to make any comments in the hallway about the fate of our nation. Okay? Are you ready to go? Whether or not he can win in November? I think he can win in November. Do you believe he should run for re-election? I'm not. Am I speaking English to you? I'm not going to be making any statements about any of that right now in the hallway. Actor George Clooney is the latest major Democratic donor to call for Biden to drop out, writing a searing op-ed in the New York Times. Now, his views do carry more weight than your average celebrity. Clooney helped raise $28 million for Biden's campaign last month. Biden will take questions from the media this afternoon. The last time that he took questions solo at the podium was back in November. And John, as I send it back to you, this is not a debate. This is not a campaign event. But everything tonight, today, on the line. And none of those questions will be scripted. He's yep. going to have to be on his toes for this one. All right, Mark, thanks. Uh Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.